Welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. So, we were discussing MOSFETs and we had seen some of the basic terms associated with MOSFETs. Then we had also looked into the switching characteristics. After that, uh, we had started looking into the data sheet terms of MOSFETs. So, uh, we will continue discussing the data sheet term in this lecture. There is a term in a data sheet that you will be often finding related to MOSFETs and that is your dv by uh, dt limit that may be there or in diode data sheets also we had seen this, this dv by dt limit that may be provided for diodes. So, uh, now what is uh, the background of this dv by dt limit that we will be discussing now. So, for that let us recall the H bridge converter that we had discussed before. So, in your H bridge converter when we consider just uh, this leg then we know that that uh, we can either turn on T A plus or we can turn on T A minus. We can never give gate pulses to both of them together because if both of these turn on together then that will lead to a shorting of the source and so huge amount of current will be flowing and that may damage the devices. So, now for that what is given is what is called as a dead time. So, let us look into this idea of uh, dead times. So, let us say this is your gate pulse for your T A plus. and this is the gate pulse for T A minus. So, this is for your T A plus the upper switch and this is for the lower switch T A minus. Now, this is your um, on state and this is your off state that means, it is 0 and 1. So, initially what uh, we are telling is that your T A minus is on that means, this uh, lower switch is on and uh, then after some time we are making this T A minus off. So, when this T A minus is off at that time even T A plus is not given the gate plus. So, this duration is your in between what we observe is the dead time. So, here this is our dead time. After that what happens is that your this T A plus is turned on. So, this is given uh, gate pulse at this instant. So, now what happens uh, during these uh, dead time interval? Let us uh, have a closer look at it. So, let us say for that your direction of current is positive. So, this is the direction of current that we are talking about this is the positive direction of current. So, when T A minus was on what was carrying the current in this direction? Of course, it is the diode which is going to carry the current because uh, this uh, MOSFET will not allow the current flow in this direction in the downward direction it will only uh, allow the flow in the downward direction, it will not allow the flow in the upward direction and with current to be positive that is what is required. So, the current has to uh, flow like this and we are not considering here that which whether the upper uh, MOSFET is on or the lower MOSFET is on, something is on either of it, we are just concentrating on this leg A for uh, this moment. All right. So, your diode D A minus is going to conduct. Now, when we turn off this switch over here at this position your T A minus is turned off and T A plus is not yet on. So, what will happen during this dead time? This uh, diode will continue to conduct. Okay. So, uh, that means what? During this whole period, it is the diode 
which is conducting. So, your uh, d a minus is conducting during this entire period while your t a minus is on and also during the dead time. After that what happens is your this uh, your upper switch t a plus is turned on at this point. So, then what will happen is that uh, then your this T a plus will take over and then the current will be flowing in this direction. So, now the current is going to be flowing like this once this upper switch is, is turned on. Okay. So, after this point it is your T a plus which takes over from here. it is your T a plus which takes over. So, here T a plus is conducting. So, what do we observe then that even though we are providing this dead time over here, what is happening is that it is the diode which is conducting and when this upper switch T a plus is turned on, this diode turns off and then this T a plus is going to turn on. So, the diodes turn off is associated with the MOSFETs turn on or vice versa, so, MOSFETs turn on and at that time the diode turns off. So, then the reverse recovery voltage for the diode is very important. this reverse recovery voltage and the dv by dt that is associated with it that is very uh, important for uh, to be considered while your devices are turning on and turning off. Now, let us see this uh, we have seen before this physical structure and in the physical structure we had observed that, that there is a parasitic BJT in the MOSFET. And of course, there is a gate to drain capacitance also associated with it. Now, if a simple equivalent circuit has to be drawn and the effect has to be shown, so it can be drawn like this that, that this is the parasitic BJT and here you can denote it by a resistor and between this the drain in source you can represent it like a gate to drain capacitance and then followed by a resistor. Okay, because this effect is between this source and this drain that we observe here. And uh, here this uh, MOSFET is also present. Now, what will happen is that while this uh, diode is turning off, there is a current associated with this capacitor. And that current is going to flow to the base of this parasitic BJT. So, this current your CGD dv by dt this is the base current of the bjt and if it is sufficient enough to turn on the bjt then it may turn on this parasitic bjt and once this parasitic bjt is turned on that means this will start to conduct and there will be a path between the drain and the source. So, it will lead to a shorting of uh, this MOSFET or you can say that, that this MOSFET the lower MOSFET will also turn on. So, what we are telling is that when you are this because of this diode if this dv by dt is very high. So, that will turn on the parasitic BJT and so there will be a conduction path between drain and source. So, it is like that, that the MOSFET is turned on this lower MOSFET T a minus gets turned on and so this uh, both of these MOSFETs are then on together T a plus and T a minus and it will lead to a 
shorting of the source ok. So, that is why this limit of dv by dt limit is uh, given is the peak diode recovery voltage slope that is provided uh, sometimes in the data sheets to protect the MOSFET, the lower MOSFET or the upper MOSFET from turning on while your uh, this uh, other MOSFET is being turned on and the uh, diode is, is turning off. Now, let us look into some other uh, terms notations in the data sheet. One is your uh, this R theta JC junction to case uh, thermal resistance. This uh, we have uh, discussed uh, before also that you have got a chip and uh, then after that you will have the casing and uh, then further is there is a heat sink. This is the usual arrangement of power semiconductor devices. So, this there is junction over here then there is case and this is the heat sink and then there is this ambient and in between them there will be thermal resistance between any two of these and that is what is given in the data sheet. This is your junction to case uh, resistance then case to sink resistance and uh, what may be the condition for which they might have provided flat or grease surface that also they um, mm, that may be there means basically the case or the sink on which whether they have provided a greasing or not. Uh, with that they are providing this um, value that may be mentioned in the data sheet. Then junction to ambient from here to here what could be the thermal resistance that also is given. Then power dissipation, so this uh, power dissipation is uh, uh, just that this is your MOSFET and uh, then your uh, VDS multiplied by your current. ID that will be flowing. So, this gives your PD power dissipation. Then uh, further what could be the maximum junction temperature uh, over here maximum junction temperature here. So, that also may be provided in the data sheet. Then storage temperature what is the range of uh, uh, temperature in which this uh, um, devices have to be stored. And then the case temperature during continuous uh, operation that is also provided. Next let us uh, look into some of the performance curves that are uh, provided. So, one of the performance curves is your this uh, RDS on versus your junction temperature Tj. So, R D is on we know that that so here whatever is the resistance during on state that is your R D is on and uh, this is a function of temperature it varies with temperature and that is what we observe here as the temperature is increasing this R D is on is also increasing ok. So, uh, that is actually uh, I mean mm, good thing for MOSFETs because uh, if uh, this is like a uh, characteristics where it increases with temperature. So, that helps in paralleling two MOSFETs suppose this is one MOSFET and you want we want to connect another MOSFET in parallel. So, uh, if both of these resistances increase as the temperature increases so that helps in the paralleling operation. So, that is what uh, we see here and uh, then this is uh, the curve uh, a typical curve shown for your power dissipation PD versus your uh, case temperature. So, what we observe here is that as this case temperature is increasing this power dissipation what is the maximum permissible that is allowed that is decreasing that is what we see and this is what we expect that your power dissipation limit will decrease as your temperature is going to increase. Then further this is uh, a graph between your breakdown voltage of the MOSFET versus your junction temperature Tj 
and uh, what we observe here is this that this breakdown voltage slightly increases as your junction temperature is, is increasing. Okay. It is not a very high increase, but uh, if it is 190 volt over here, then you can see it is uh, going above and it is like close to 225 volt that we see at 150 degree C. Then this is another graph uh, between your drain current ID and your case temperature TC. And uh, as expected that as your case temperature increases, your drain current what is the maximum that is allowed that is going to decrease. Okay, because it is um, obvious that your losses are going to increase as your drain current increases. So, temperatures as it increases uh, how much drain current maximum that can be allowed is going to decrease. So, what are the key points of this lecture? The key points are that there is a dV by dt turn on that is possible in MOSFETs. So, uh, for that uh, you should be looking into the dV by dt limit in the data sheet that may be provided. And uh, further uh, these days uh, the MOSFETs that we get uh, they have uh, good immunity to dV by dt turn on and different manufacturers uh, like to provide different specifications to show that uh, how good is the immunity to dV by dt turn on. So, that you can look into the application notes of uh, different manufacturers of MOSFETs. And uh, further uh, there is your junction temperature and thermal resistance, um, those values will also be provided in the data sheets and the different performance curves may be provided in the data sheets. Now, here I have shown you just a few of them, there may be several other that may be provided in the data sheets. Thank you. Thank you.